Yeah, Wally was, uh, he's one of the reasons, obviously, that, that the Transformers have lasted all this time. The man, God bless him, he, uh, uh, he knew what he wanted and he got it out of us. And we had, when you were talking about when we first started, I was blown away by the amazing talent that was there. Not just the the guys who've done, who I did a lot of cartoons with, but I'm talking about guys from Roger C. Carmel, who was uh, Harry Mudd on, on the original Star Trek, and all Chuck, uh, Chuck McCann, all these great comic mm -hmm. actors. Um, and Scatman Crothers, all these guys. I was still new to uh, Los Angeles, and it, it it blew me away. Like, wow, I was I was really lucky. Yeah, and because of the long sessions, I remember. I, I'm sure nobody here would would know his music <coughs> or anything, but Scatman Crothers was a, you know, he was kind of a blues singer. He was an amazing guy. He, I'm, we're sitting in there in the lobby. Brought his guitar in. He'd like sit there and sing. I mean, it was. It was really a special time, and a time that's really even more valuable now, considering the fact that everything is, is changing. I mean, COVID really brought about a, an immediate change to everything because actors couldn't go into the studio and record in studio, so most everyone was recording from home. But it sort of, that's kind of the way it was going anyway. And it's gone that way a lot now. I mean. I mean, so much is done individually in animation now, where they, they come to the actor's home, they'll leave, if you don't have it, they'll hook up a, a you know, mic and a recording uh, set up for you, and you'll record at home. You know, they do it either over Zoom or, or however they do it, and uh, you're not going into a studio with everyone anymore. And, yeah. you, you know, it's, it's really unfortunate, because I think not only uh, on the personal side of things, where you get to be with everybody and get to know everyone, there's a lot that comes out of working with other actors together. You know, when you're you're interacting, you're playing off each other. You know, you'd know that, Paul. Always, my preference is to be with the other actors. There's a there's a spontaneity that happens. Mm -hmm. um, you get stuff, you get an energy from each other, and. Uh, one of the big big changes is you. I miss the camaraderie. I hope the younger VO actors coming up in the next 15, 20 years could experience what we experienced back in the day where you spent a lot of time either auditioning together and hanging out um, in the lobby, just getting to know each other. And that's why there are all these friendships that have lasted 35 years. 40 years, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, you know, it's, I hear myself saying that sometimes, you know, as you look at the changes that are going on and I feel like I'm like, I remember back when, when, <laughs> when things were different, you know, those were the good times. You back know, in and, my day, right. I tell you, oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but they're, they're honestly, it's a, it's a total paradigm shift now. It's, it's a different way the whole voiceover business is is working 